All right, guys. Well, this is kind of a gray yuck. But warm and humid winter day here in paradise in uh, Dunnellan, Florida. It is now a Tuesday. That is Tuesday, December 26, 2023. So, uh, I have had an exciting morning uh, getting a cockroach infested beat up old dresser out of the beat up old shed behind the beat up old trailer for my uh, for my little man cave here on this exciting Tuesday and so now I get to head to Walmart to buy a curtain rod. That is my exciting life. Uh, I think I have lost my new girlfriend. We've had our first spat because I do not text. I do not text and she does not email. So uh, we're having a standoff <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> goodbye and good riddance to her. But, uh, in the middle of all this, uh, I've been talking to my good buddy out in Santa Barbara, California, Elliot Jacobson, and, uh, Elliot and I are trying to decide if we have the energy to, uh, have a conversation on New Year's Day. What do you think, Elliot? Are we up for that or not? But while he and I are figuring this out, I've, uh, I, I, I meant to mention this a week ago, but now uh, it, it, it has happened again. I have got to give Elliot Jacobson, I don't know what the name of the award uh, for you, brother, is the uh, editorial constraint award for 2023 because twice now I, I don't know when it was a week or two ago Elliot was interviewed by this unbelievably nasty clueless fucking moron on, on some goddamn Facebook page which I, I believe, uh, and I, I hope and I honestly believe that maybe three people uh, on the planet heard this uh, confrontation b between this absolutely little limp dick lefty snowflake, uh, some sort of fucking professor at one of these little limp dick lefty colleges I guess uh, and, and he and Elliot tangled over the myth of the noble savage and what was the dude accusing you of uh, genocide ba basically uh, Elliot Jacobson is a genocidal uh, well I don't know are you a genocidal maniac or you just promote genocide uh, because you uh, pointed out that humans are humans uh, and to put uh, any branch of human up on a pedestal above other humans is every bit as fucking racist as putting any branch of humans below other humans. Uh, the, the, these noble savage defenders are every bit as fucking racist as, as Donald Trump uh, by, by elevating uh, the, the, this bullshit about these noble savages you're, you're making everybody else you know what I'm saying and, and, and so Elliot was trying just to point out this no shit Sherlock fact and, and this fucking uh, asshole. I mean, just fucking attacked him, I, you know, on the show, accusing him of genocidal, hateful statement, whatever, and, 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 and how Elliot sat there and didn't tell this motherfucker 
uh, you know, where he could fucking stick it. Uh, you know, I, I would have told this little limp dick lefty motherfucker where he could stick the goddamn myth of the noble savage. And so, I, I guess it was yesterday, on Chris, actually on Christmas Day, that for the second time, uh, Elliot was interviewed uh, on the little limp dick lefty bright green lying uh, news network CNN uh, you know the fake news bright green lie spouting uh, limp dick lefty organ uh, <clears throat> now I honestly don't know if it was CNN or whoever I don't know I didn't pay attention to the YouTube who's channel calling Elliot Jacobson what were, what do they call you brother the the world's foremost climate analyst and as I told Elliot I said I thought Guy McPherson was the world's foremost climate analyst so not sure that CNN is identifying Elliot Jacobson as the world's foremost climate analyst it, 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 it's, <laughs> as far as I know Elliot correct me if I'm wrong like me and like Guy McPherson uh, I, I am assuming you've never taken a a, a a course in climate science in your life but I but I'm not arguing the fact uh, that that Elliot Jacobson uh, it, 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 it is or is not the world's foremost climate analyst because his analysis is we're fucked uh, <laughs> there you go. I think Jason Box, uh, what in climatologist Jacob Box, uh, wasn't he labeled the world's foremost climate analyst? When was that? About 10 years ago when Jacob, uh, when Jason Box got in all that trouble by saying, I think we're fucked. Uh, thank you for your world famous penetrating <laughs> climate analysis. But anyway, I'll try to put this clip on uh, for, from CNN because once again, uh, for the second time in a in, in the past week or two, uh, my buddy ha has uh, has earned the uh, the the, the Keep your fucking mouth shut when confronted by clueless fucking moron uh, awards. So it might have been at the very at, at the at the very moment that I was doing my rant on uh, that bullshit fucking article on uh, on CNN <clears throat> that came out yesterday about five reasons to feel positive about climate change. You, you know, uh, here, here on Christmas morning when the whole fucking world is in flames, uh, these goddamn little hopium-soaked fucking bright green lie spouters uh, at CNN uh, printing this, this fucking bullshit. And, and uh, so... I read the, well, I read a little bit of that bullshit article and I said you forgot to mention, uh, you know, six, seven, and eight. Uh, the number six, the moon is made of green cheese. Number seven, the check is in the mail. And number eight, uh, that dress doesn't make you look fat. And I, you know, so I, you know, I left that comment at the end of that article uh, and, and my comment was uh, ripped down by Yahoo News for violating the Yahoo community guidelines by, by pointing out uh, that, that that was the biggest fucking pack of lies. <clears throat> so it might have been at that very moment that uh, Elliot was was uh, put on camera like a, you know like a like a goddamn possum in the headlights, looking just like a possum in the headlights, 
as they say where I come from. And, and, and this fucking clueless moron, not quite as bad as whoever that asshole was over there uh, on Facebook, uh, brings up, you know, it was CNN. So uh, it, they bring up the very article that uh, I was lampooning uh, on Christmas. They, they bring up this fucking article and, uh, you know, the, the news anchor goes down the five points and, you know, asks for Elliot, <laughs> ask Elliot for his comment on it. Uh, you, you know, well, you just heard my comment about the fucking moon being made of green cheese and, 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 and the rest of it is the biggest bunch of fucking pack of bright green lies. Uh, and, 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 and how Elliot uh, sat there and, and I could see this little, this little wince. Uh, I, I like how Elliot, if, if, if you watch him closely when he's, when he's confronted by a clueless fucking moron, he, he has this little twinge. Uh, 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 of pain like he's holding back a fart uh, when dealing with, with these clueless fucking morons and uh, <laughs> he, he managed to uh, to very delicately and diplomatically uh, just swat this this clueless fucking moron I, about five reasons to be positive and uh but then I have to admit he surprised me that uh that Elliot surprised me that he he mentioned a a sixth one that he would add there talking about how methane levels went down in, uh, in, in the year 2023. So I will trust, uh, I, I will trust Elliot's uh, knowledge on that a hell of a lot more than mine. Uh, so I, I, I think Elliot, what you were r referring to maybe is, uh, you know, something to do with the, maybe with the oil and gas industry or, or, or so I, I, I don't know what you were referring to, but I, I was very surprised uh, to hear Elliot say that because uh, while I'm not, I, 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 I'm not questioning or, or doubting that maybe methane levels uh, went down a tiny bit in 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 2023. Uh, it, it sounds like that the world's foremost climate analyst is, is completely ignoring the infamous uh, methane bomb, getting ready to uh, fire off. Well already starting to fire off uh, up there in the Arctic as the permafrost uh, starts to melt in the Arctic Ocean, starts to warm up. Uh, good Lord, Elliot Jacobson knows more than anybody and than any climate analyst on the fucking planet about that. So, uh, Elliot, uh, if we have a conversation on New Year's Day, I I do want to get a more in-depth explanation uh, because, you know, I, 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 I have to admit, brother, that I agree more with the world's second uh, greatest climate analyst uh, and his predictions of the of the methane bomb, then it sounds like you're saying, but anyway, speaking of methane bombs, I, uh, I, 